Hello and welcome to Clearview Television. We are reaching you live from Nigeria's capital city, Abuja. This is Abuja, the fastest growing city in the world. Thousands troop in and out of this great place. So, where are you coming from? Far north, south, east or west? Let's share this wisdom with you about where to stay, considering comfort, prompt services and above all, adequate security. Zeus Paradise Hotel, number one, Domenico Gicho Street by Setraco, by Jabi Lake Mall, Mabushi, Abuja. We invite you to get details of this hotel from our website, www.zeusparadise.com. Telephone 0807-050-0062. Zeus Paradise Hotel, complete home, away from home. Many travelers are stranded on the Abuja Kaduna Highway as angry residents have blocked the road over attacks, especially the killing of a 13 year old girl by bandits. The tragic incident occurred at Ungwar Magaji in Chikun local government area of the state. Residents said bandits stormed the house of the village head and abducted his family as well as other persons in the community. A resident of the area told Clairview Television that they were not safe at home and their farms. He explained that the residents only want security or to be allowed to protect themselves against the bandits. A witness said that the protesters refused to listen to the plea of security personnel who approached them. The witness, who did not want to be named, said the protesters have been out since 7.30 a.m. The police public relations officer in the state, ASP Jaligi Mohammed, said the state commissioner of police, Umar Muri, had directed the area commander to visit the scene of the protest and ensure orderliness. And to Ekiti State now, the police command has arrested a 16 year old girl, Abimbola Suluka, alongside her boyfriend, Oluwa Sheung Olajide, for alleged conspiracy and self kidnapping. Abimbola is alleged to have conspired with her 25-year-old boyfriend and two of his friends to stage the abduction so as to raise money. The police spokesman, Sule uh, Sunday Aputu, in a statement explained that Abimbola's sister had gone to the police station to report that her sister was missing after leaving the house for school. Abutu said the sister explained that when Abimbola's phone was called, an unknown person answered the phone and informed them she was in his custody and would not be released until a ransom of 500,000 was paid. Lock ran against the suspects when the holder of the account given for the ransom payment was tracked and arrested by the anti-kidnapping unit of the police and forced to lead the police team to a hotel within the state capital where the supposedly abducted Abimbola and her boyfriend were nabbed. Abimbola, with the three others, confessed to committing the crime, claiming she wanted to raise money for her family members to enable her, or from her family members rather, to enable her relocate from Ekiti State since her mother insisted she studied medicine as against her own dream of becoming an actress. This is Abuja, the fastest growing city in the world. Thousands troop in and out of this great place. So, where are you coming from? Far north, south, east, or west? Let's share this wisdom with you about where to stay, considering comfort, prompt services, and above all, adequate security. Zeus Paradise Hotel, number one, Domenico Gicho Street by Setraco, by Jabi Lake Mall, Mabushi, Abuja. We invite you to get details of this hotel from our website, www.zeusparadise.com Telephone 0807-050-0062 Zeus Paradise Hotel Complete home away from home In spite of the overwhelming outcry against the plan to retrace and recover grazing routes across the country, the federal government is not showing signs of relenting the routes properly called grazing routes are currently being retraced and recovered by the federal government for herders to graze their cattle. 
The federal government said this was meant to address the clashes between herdsmen and farmers. Although some of the routes are believed to have been encroached upon up due to human activities, the government had embarked on a process of identifying monuments along the routes in order to get them back as locations for cattle grazing. Contrary to the expectations of many Nigerians, particularly in the South, that the grazing routes of retracing and eventual recovery might not see the light of the day, officials of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development said the route recovery will go on. They, however, said it will be done mainly in non-conflict zones. They also say that the routes that had been encroached upon as a result of the development of public infrastructure might be left out of the recovery exercise. The acting director, Animal Husbandry Department, Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, Winnie Lai Sholaring, has stated that while cattle ranching had been one of the major options conversed for herders, not every pastoralist will be able to afford ranting at the moment. Thank you for watching. I am Nkiru Obuli.